Hello viewers. Today we have uh, this Dell laptop. This have uh, no display issue. How to fix it? Let's uh, check the motherboard and uh, let's check what is the problem in it. So let's start the diagnosing. Let me show you first of all, this is I plugged in adapter. I changed, first of all, I have to change RAM. Whenever you have display issue, you can see here, laptop is consuming 354 million pair and uh, laptop is on automatically because I removed the CMOS cell. First of all, CMOS cell you have, you have to remove. After that, if display not coming, then you have to remove RAM. Change your uh, tested RAM and uh, if you have two modules in the laptop, pull out one and uh, check with the first one. And after that, if display even not coming, then you test second one. So check one by one. Uh, if have only one RAM, you can use yours own tested RAM, okay? That you are sure it is okay. So you test with the okay RAM. After that, if uh, even then display not coming, then you have to check motherboard supplies for uh, processor and RAM supplies because if uh, one of the supply for RAM or processor is missing, display will not come. So now I have uh, checked RAM replacement, but display is not coming. So now I will check the supplies for processor and RAM. As you can see, the display not came yet. So I will check supplies for it now. So I will check uh, supplies. How to check supply set meter at uh, DC voltage and uh, in the range of 20, 40, whatever you have. And uh, red probe at the uh, ground, any ground point, you have many ground points in the motherboard. You can attach any point at the ground. And the second point you have to use on the coils. Like this, this is processor coil. <coughs> You can see here 0.99 ampere, sorry, 0.99 voltage. And uh, here is no volt. Here is one volt. And uh, here is one volt. This is one volt. This is uh, three volt. Yes. And uh, here is the RAM voltage also there. So we have all the supplies for uh, processor RAM. This volt, this volt will come when display will be active. Then this this voltage uh, will show here. And uh, this is uh, controlled by our uh, BIOS and IO. As you can see, all the supplies are working, but uh, there is no display yet. So. In this case, so in this case, all the supplies are available, and uh, at this point, we will uh, program this chip. This is the BIOS chip. This is 16 MB BIOS, UC5. After BIOS programming, I will show you the result. So let's remove the BIOS chip. You are making it. Stop it, you know, I need to be this is our BIOS IC and uh, here you can see there is a dot on uh, one corner side this dot should be directed to this side however this you can see this lever this is our direction for uh, placing the IC direction as you can see here now
as you can see the dot here this is the direction for the side corner so always use this direction of ic at the programmer socket so i have uh, placed our bios ic on the programmer now let's go to our pc now started uh, writing the chip and uh, after that i will after finishing it i will uh, sold the bias ic back in the motherboard now i will plug in and uh, let's check if display coming or not coming i will switch it on first time it will give lit display but uh, no problem we will wait So our laptop is uh, okay now. You can see the display. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you face any problem, you can comment us. With